What's up YouTube, it's Chris Chevier here and today I'm going to be doing some maintenance to two of these three Surons you see behind me. We got a 2019 Suron and a 2022 Suron that we need new tires for. I also put new chains on them and I also installed new brake pads as well. So I'll give you a list of just the other upgrades we've done to these bikes so far so you can maybe get some ideas or something. This is the 2022 Suron with the KKE front fork and the 34 amp hour battery. Up front we got red brake levers, we got red brake cal not caliper, uh, reservoir caps, we got red grips, we got a red key ignition switch. Uh, this seat was a custom design that I did myself. I did 3 inch memory foam on top of the stock seat and then I added my own MCH manufacturing seat cover and did all that myself. This seat is amazing compared to the stock. You could ride this literally all day and not have any pain in your butt whereas you ride this for an hour, hour and a half and your ass is aching dude. So then we got red red foot pegs, red support bracket, and of course we got the new chain and new brake pads installed front and rear. Moving over to the 2019, we got um, a new chain, we got orange pegs, black support bracket, orange grips. I was also supposed to get orange levers, but I ordered from eBay from China and they didn't have any orange ones, so they just decided to ship me red instead. At the point I was just like, I don't even want to return them at this point. I'm just going to rock the red levers until they break or something, then we'll get actual orange levers. Uh, this bike definitely needs a new bash guard. I got one in the mail coming, but uh, yeah, this one is smashing into the motor right now. Very sketchy. But yeah, other than that, we just got new tires coming. Um, I tried to do tires myself. I bought all the tools, spent all this money on new tubes, all the tools you need to do your own tires. Thought I could do tires, but I guess not. So, anyways, we're going to go head over to the bike shop. We're going to pick up those new tires. We're also going to have them put this last tire on for us. All right, we made it out here to Main Street Bicycles. Uh, it's a bike shop here in southeast Michigan and uh, we got the root we got the rim the tube and the tire back there and we're also picking up two tires that should be completely ready to go hopefully you can do that third one while I'm here today if not no big deal we'll pick it up another time but uh, yeah let's go inside and see if they got those done Shout out to Main Street Bicycles. They got both uh, the tires done and they got the third one going in there right now. Hopefully it'll be done soon and we can get to riding. All right, we secured the tires. Guess how much it was for three tires, dude? $30. Don't even try to do it yourself. It's too cheap to just take it to the bike shop and have them do it. It's too easy. And they don't damage your rims. All right, guys, we finally got the new knobbies on. Got the front and rear. Got new brake pads in there, new chain. Should be good to go. Let's go take her for a rip.
What's up guys? We got the wig racing tires on the bike here. As you can see, uh, I've ridden them a tiny little bit, not too much though, but we're going to give them a nice test run today. Uh, I just rode on some pavement. They are nice and grippy on pavement so far. I'm going to hit this jump over here, which is uh, a little bit of grass and a little bit of pavement. See how they do on landing on pavement. And uh, after that, we'll go test out some dirt jumps and some dirt trails. Let's get to it. Stoppy. Smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice and grippy. Practice some wavy. Well, let's see how these tires do going down a uh, set of stops. here at a little pit bike track most of this place is sand so kind of loose a little bit of moisture in it though so I think these tires will perform great in these kind of conditions but let's see how it holds up
Woo. Just right through the sand. I couldn't even clear that jump before it was my old CST tire. at a little circle track we got some dirt a little bit of mud around here these corners are pretty muddy we got some dirt jumps over here let's see how these perform um some jumps and whatnot Ooh. a little slippery through the mud i think i should tell you how the sun moves Guys, we're gonna end the day off. Chase the grass hill climb. That's going to wrap up today's video on the rig racing tires. I'd give these tires about an 8 out of 10. The front tire could use a little bit of work. It's still a little slippery and it's very heavy for what it is, for like the traction you get. But it does work great in dirt. It does work great for trail riding. Um, 
highly suggest getting the rear. The rear works excellent. The front one, I don't know. You might want to stick with a CST tire. You might want to upgrade to something else. This one is honestly just a little too heavy for the front end. But the rear tire, I would highly suggest give that one a 10 out of 10. I would give the front tire about an 8 out of 10. But the rear tire is excellent. There's a little bit of room for improvement. I think it could be a little bit stiffer of a tire. It's kind of squishy. But it does work great in dirt and sand, trail riding, jumping, all that kind of stuff. I think these tires will suit you great. So if you found this video informational or if you just like the content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.